Good evening and welcome back once again. So we are starting a brand new season and I thought I'd give you an update what's been happening so far. As you can see we absolutely smashed West Ham in the UEFA Super Cup. We then beat Barcelona over two legs for the Spanish Super Cup and we're now about to kick off the league season with a home match against Villarreal. And some big big changes in the squad itself. We managed to get an amazing centre back of Gradiol. I've been after him for a while, but he cost a lot of money. 86 rated, he's going straight in the team in that left hand position, centre back. And Kieran Trippier became a regen in the youth squad, so we brought him up. Obviously, I'm a Newcastle fan, and he's currently the captain for Newcastle, so I had to bring him up. We've also managed to get Bellingham, another one that's been on my radar for a while. Centre midfielder, but he can play defensive main, attack midfielder. He can even play in the wings, second striker. Lots of positions, very versatile. And another regen that was available was Manuel Neuer. Now, we did have to pay some money from, I think we paid about 16, 17 million for him. And you may notice a few missing faces, the main one being Emerson, our right back. We did need to free up some space, and I did really like him when we got him, but we've got Debussy and Kieran Trippier, both youngsters, and we got a decent amount of money for Emerson I think it was about 24 million and he's actually going to start declining in a couple of years and we can look to improve both Debussy and Kieran Trippier. We also sold Omar Ajek because he was fourth choice even fifth choice centre back and because of brought Vardy all in I thought it was time to let him go. Again we got a good chunk of money and looking at his graph it didn't look like he was going to improve anymore. And there was a couple of other youngsters that we weren't really going to keep anyway. I think there was Pedro Leon, Bajer, we managed to sell him for a bit of money. And we did get some good loan offers in so the likes of Sanchez, Evans, Granfis, Fernandinho, Mandanda now that we've got Neuer, Debussy taking a bit of a risk. We've only got Kieran Trippier right back at the moment. We've got a few centre backs that can play in that place as well. The one player I didn't really want to let go was Messi. We did get an offer in from Hoffenheim for a loan. Obviously, I'm never going to sell him. For I think it was 21 million for a six-month loan. And I thought it was crazy not to take that. It's only six months. He'll come back in January. 21 million is ridiculous just for a six-month loan. I can't quite believe they offered that much. We're a bit thin on the ground in terms of the squad at the moment. Let's have a look to see what the starting line is probably going to look like. And one thing you'll notice today is that Martinelli is actually captain. Now, the only reason I've done that, because Fabio Vieira has normally been our captain with Herrera's second choice, when I've been looking at the roles that players pick up, it looks like if Martinelli's captain, it actually increases the amount of experience other players get whilst they're captain. And just a little bit more news on transfers. We have managed to get a player on loan for a year just before this match started. He hasn't actually joined the club yet, so we'll wait till this match is finished. But it does have an option to buy. And my intention is, because I don't have the funds available yet, but my intention is to buy this player once I've got enough funds whilst he's on loan, which is something you can do. It's a little trick you can do. It's a very exciting player. He's going to change the team. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to slot him in, who may move out. Very exciting. We've blown the budget on him. I mean, the, the transfer fee and especially the salary that we're spending on this guy is crazy money. But I think it's worth it. And I'll show you after this match. Well, here we are. First day of a brand new season at home. And remember, we've won the, the two Super Cups already. Last season, we technically won five trophies. won the two Super Cups. That was the UEFA Super Cup, the Spanish Super Cup. We won the league again. We won the Champions League, which was amazing in our first attempt. And we also finally got that Copa del Rey trophy. So that's five trophies and all three major trophies. And we've already started off with the two Super Cups. We'll be going for three La Ligas in a row. Hopefully get the Copa del Rey in the Champions League again. But I can't wait to show you, show you the player that we've uh, that we've got on loan. He's going to be... Well, he's going to be by far our top rated player overall. And he's very young still. Um, which is why he's cost a bomb. When we do sign him, we're probably going to have no transfer budget left. And... The salary budget will probably be right down as well. I'll show you what that means in a moment. But some great youngsters that were bought. Gvardiol, massive. We needed to strengthen up that defence. I think that's one of the places we struggled with a little bit in some matches. Um, just some of the goals we let in I wasn't happy with. But Gvardiol and Kosanu normally would be the, the front, um, front runners for those two places. Obviously Kosanu is not starting today. But they are going to be some partnership. Both very strong. Gradio is very good on the ball. Strong, quick. Um, Bellingham, very versatile. Can play in many positions. So very happy with the signings that I've made. 
Kieran Trippier as well. He's performed well in the, the matches he's played so far. Again, obviously a regen. And we need to do that because even though Fabio Vieira Herrera are not really old, um, when I've looked at their graph, finally on the horizon, you can see it starting to decline. To decline rather. Not for a couple of years, but we are going to that stage where they're not really going to improve too much. Um, and they're actually going to decline in a couple of years, which is a bit sad. Um, here's Martinelli, the captain. The new captain, obviously. Obviously going to improve our experience for the players when he's a uh, captain. So it, it makes sense to do that. It's a shame Vieira doesn't have that trait. Otherwise, I would have kept him as the captain. Anyway, here's Bellingham. Not a great ball there. But I'm sure Vieira and Herrera will be around for a couple more years at least. Oh, it's not a great ball by Bellingham. Zirk off. Oh, try to play it across. Another corner. And normally I would have shown the Super Cubs, but they're kind of almost like a friendly, really. Um, and we won them last year, and I showed those, but you know they're not really full-on trophies. And I just want to get stuck into the season. Not much room to work with at the moment. There's not a lot of space in Martinelli's offside. Don't know what Ogbonne is doing all the way forward there. He needs to get back. Nice ball from Castro. It's hardly seen the ball so far. That's a foul. Yeah, can he make some room? They're really playing all them, everyone buying the ball pretty much. Sirkov now deflects. We're going to have to try and use these wing backs as much as possible because centrally there's not much room. Block there. It needed it. Oh, that's a terrible ball. Martinelli was free. Had acres of space. Oh, nice ball into Vieira by Trippier. Great goal from Vieira. I was going to say the captain. I keep forgetting he's not. <laughs> can always rely on Vieira. It's nice work from Trippier. Plays Vieira down the line. It's a great finish with his right foot. Not the quickest of starts from us, but got there in the end. Great finish. I 
I almost even thought about signing Ibrahimovic, the regent, because um, he's clearly going to be a very good player. We did that with Messi, but I didn't really fancy it, at, at least at the moment. And he was quite costly as well, and he's wasn't quite what I was looking for. I thought he was going to be about 40-odd million. That's a foul. And I forgot to mention at the start, Xerxes did pick up a little knock in one of the Super Cups. Um, but he's only going to be out for a short period. So nothing too much to worry about. That's why he uh, wasn't even in consideration for this match today. Perez. Oh, good save. Plenty of power. Fairly central, so it was uh, expected to be saved. Strong hands from the keeper, though. That's a poor corner. And Perez. Good work from Perez. Oh, just wide. Again, Kieran Trippier off that support. Like I say, as a Newcastle fan, um, I wanted to get him. But as soon as I saw him available in the youth squad, I thought I'm definitely taking him. Um, plus, he is actually a very good player and he'll improve a lot. Debussy on loan at the moment, but so Kieran Trippier will have to do it by himself for the next couple of months. But 1 0 at half time. And I wouldn't say too many chances created in that game. There was obviously that Perez chance at the end, which just went wide. But we had 72% possession. Um, <laughs> just crazy, but... Castro! 2-0! Got off to a fly in the second half. And Bellingham's got his first assist for the club. Or at least his first assist in, uh, in the league. I, I can't remember if he got any in the Super Cups. Nice one to here. Castro laying off to Bellingham. Nice pass back. And it's a calm finish. Just what we needed at the start. It's been a solid performance, if not spectacular so far. Oh, nice play there. By Martinelli. Oh, nice play by Martinelli. Oh, good strike. Bit too straight though. I am disappointed that Messi won't be with us until January again, but taking I think it was 21, 22 million for a six month loan is it's, it's absolutely crazy money, so I had to take that. Um it just it's helped us a lot in the market, you know, potentially secure this player that I'm talking about. Which you'll see after this match. Nice play from Zegoff. I'll break a poor pass though. I spoke too soon. Uh, offside? Yeah. Obviously we'll make some subs in a few minutes. And Neuer being a second choice keeper, at least for the next few months, while um, Mandanda's on loan. I think it was a sensible decision getting him. He's such a class keeper. Perez. Oh, good save. And Mandanda's been a, a decent second choice keeper. He looks a bit like he flaps sometimes, but... Oh. But yeah, I think I think Noy was about 18 million. Um But you know he's gonna be a, a goalkeeper to once um hang on a minute.
I was gonna say in the very far future when Schubert is on the decline or, or whatever, you know, Neuer will probably become that number one. But it'd be a good second choice for now. So he's very good on the ball, which will help us. Oh, Perez lost the ball there. There's just too many bodies in the way. Good tackle there. That's not a great ball by Castro. How is that not a foul? Lunged in from ages away. I don't think we're getting to make any subs today by the looks of it. There's just not enough time to make it worthwhile. Castro, Perez, Martinelli. Oh, good save again. The keeper has by far been their best player. Made some decent saves. Yeah, we're not going to make any subs with just 15 minutes left. Good tackle by Guardiola. The first bit of action he's really been involved in. He hasn't had to do too much. Oh, nice play, Bellingham. Good save again. Strong hands. Martinelli. Perez. Again, it's just too straight at the keeper. That was a dangerous tackle, but he got the ball. Should have been a lot more goals today, but it looks like it's going to be three points. That's the main thing. It's Martinelli. Take off on the overlap. Oh, lovely ball and a really calm finish there from Perez. He's finally got his goal. Wonderful ball from Zirkov. And I really do think we're very strong in these wing back positions now. Obviously, Zirkov's a regen, Trippier's a regen, Back has a brilliant left back, our first choice. When Debussy comes back from Rome, which I think is in in January, he'll be rivaling Trippier for that right hand position. And I think taking the 20 odd million for Emerson, he was about 82 or 83 overall rated, but when I looked at his stats, it was mainly speed and acceleration. His, his passing wasn't brilliant. Especially his loft is passing, which is what you want. Very quick, um, but apart from that, not really massively strong in other areas. Whereas I think the likes of Debushi, Trippier, Baka, Zirkov, they're pretty good all rounders. Zirkov's got a, a hell of a shot on him. Um, Nice play by Perez, but he gives the ball away. He did a good tackle in the first place. Nice tackle by Trippier. And that's a terrible tackle. Here's Perez. Castro, good block. Perez again. Ah, oh, it's behind Trippier. Unlucky. But Emerson, for how good he was overall rated, he just didn't quite do it. But there it is, 3-0. Solid performance for the first day of the season. Carlos Perez getting man of the match. I wouldn't disagree with that. Very good all-round performance from the team there. Let's have a look to see who this new signing is. And here he is, the new boy. Let's see if you recognise him. Currently playing for Barcelona, but in the game he had actually been signed for PSG at some point. 
But here he is, the new boy, Pedri, if you didn't already know, 91 overall rated. And you can see he's still going to improve somewhat. And even if he doesn't, I mean, he's 91 rated. He can play in pretty much any front position, midfield, ball control, dribbling, possession, passing, all in the 90s acceleration balance stamina and look at the weak foot usage as well conditioning pretty good and he's got a lot of skills already too the contract ends on the 30th of june 2024 that's when the loan ends the transfer fee left to pay is just over 67 million but his annual salary is just around about 26 and a half million now when you compare that to some of the others some of the higher players are on three or four million the salary budget we've got at the moment is only 15 million however looking back at previous seasons and, and forecasts for salary budget i definitely will make enough over the next few months probably by february maybe even march i should have enough by that stage to actually conclude the option to buy we also did pay a loan fee, by the way, which was 20 odd million. I think it was about 24 million. So overall, you're looking at about 90 million for the player. But his release fee was 130 million. In terms of the transfer fee, I think we've done well. The salary budget is obviously where we're being bitten. I won't be able to renegotiate his contract straight away, but I believe in the in the January afterwards, I'll be able to renegotiate the contract. So hopefully, even if I only reduce it a little bit, as in down to 20 million or something, which is still a lot of money, we'll still increase that salary budget by quite a bit. But I'm so, so happy with the signing. Just a, an amazing player to have. And as you can see, our new captain, Martinelli, has won the European Best Player Award. Brilliant to see. I'm sure he's going to have a great few seasons with us to come. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining this brand new season. The next match is away to Getafe. Then we've got our first Champions League match of the season away to Zurich. Really do appreciate your guys' support, as always. But if you can, hit that like button. That would be great. Drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not ready. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.